Hey guys, so I apologize, I look kind of scraggly today. I've literally got bed hair and like my witchy hat on. You can't even see because it's all black back there. Um, but it's so hot here and I just can't be bothered doing my hair. So, so this is how I'm looking today. Um, but I'm going to do the witch casket box for August. Um, I've only had it a few days and I've only briefly looked in it. I've not properly looked at it yet. So I'm going to show you what's inside. Um, so this month is about connecting with nature apparently so it's a bit of like a naturey kind of box not like my favorite kind of stuff honestly but it's cute so um our little print for the month is this one which is by tea cake art as always they always seem to do the prints for the witch casket boxes this box smells incredible by the way i don't know what it is in here that smells but oh my god it smells amazing um then we have a little book of plant magic which is actually filled with stuff about different plants and fruits and uh flowers and all sorts of stuff it just gives loads of information which is really cute then we have our little like spell kit for the month so this one is elemental candle kit everything you need to represent the elements in your magical space so let's have a look what is in here lots of candles <laughs> um so oh i'm dropping them everywhere Okay, so there is five different candles. There is green, blue, yellow, white, and red. They're quite big candles, actually. Um, and there is this little note thing. So it says, uh, yellow is for air, green is for earth, red is for fire, blue is for water, and white is for spirit. Um, and then it tells you, like, all about the different ones what they do and everything so there is those then next we have our gemstone so this month it's a green one which kind of goes with the theme of the box i suppose and it's called i'm gonna absolutely butcher this green chert um it says it's a stone of strength strength of heart strength of belief strength of compassion and strength of will very pretty it seems to have well on camera it looks like it's got a bit of a gold tinge to it but in person it's kind of like a green and a brown color reminds me of jade it's a cute one anyway um it says this beautiful stone is also a great healer and can help you to release hidden or repressed traumas and grief uh, it can also help with forgiveness or free you from feelings of guilt so, it's our gemstone. Then next we have this, which says mugwort. Uh, it can be placed under a pillow in charm bags, burned or used for oils and infusions. I don't know what mugwort is, personally. It sounds like something from Harry Potter. Um, oh, this might be what smells good, I'm not sure it looks weird it actually looks kind of like dust i can't really show you very well on camera because it's gonna be messy but that's what that looks like and i think that is what smells good i'm not too sure everything in the box kind of smells good so i'm not sure where it's coming from but have a little bag of mugwort anyway and then we have our tea which is mint green tea which sounds nice um, it's green tea hand rolled into small round pellets. Once immersed in water, the pellets will open to reveal a full leaf. That sounds exciting. I uh, kind of want to look at what these look like. Usually I don't keep a lot of the teas. A lot of them I actually put on my Depop for people to buy and stuff. Um, but this one sounds interesting. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. I wouldn't say that they were rolled into pellets really but they're like little I don't know little dried up leaves I guess they don't smell very good though 
I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'll definitely give it a try though. So that is our tea. Then we have the pin, which is a little leaf that says naturally magic. It's not showing up great on camera, but it's black with green writing on it. Then we have a pen, which says grow through what you go through. It's cute. Just a little clicky pen. We have this, which I have not looked at yet, a little bag. So this is wooden element amulets. It says, a great way to introduce the elements of earth, air, fire, water and spirit to your magic. Place the amulets on your altar, carry them with you, add them to charm bags, use them in spells and rituals, or use these to symbolise elements whenever they're needed. So, let's have a look at what these look like. We did get some other amulets a few boxes ago. Not sure if these will be the same kind of thing. If I can ever get into this bag. Yeah, they literally look exactly the same. So they're like these little poker chip looking things again. And um, they say which casket on one side and then the elements on the other side. Fire, air, spirit, earth, water. So I kind of like the other little amulets we got better, but they're still cute though. Next we have this, which I'm not 100% what you're really supposed to do with, but it's just like a cute little pouch that says, live life in full bloom. I guess if you're really into gardening and stuff, like this box would be great for you. It is cute. Um, it's like a little square bag. You could keep anything in here really, even if you didn't want to use it for kind of gardening or keeping herbs and stuffing you could use it as like a little makeup bag or something um then we have our scroll which i will try and open neatly always a struggle so it's about magical ways to connect with nature i'm not going to read it out it's really long but basically it says practice yoga or meditate um moon bathe immerse yourself in water spend time in nature walk barefoot go to the woods appreciate animals and uh, if you find a place in nature you feel a strong connection to you can practice magic here that's basically the very small gist of what it says um and then last but not least we have incense sticks we always get incense sticks and these ones are called wood spice very cute holography box smell really good like I said this whole box smells amazing I'm not really sure what it is that smells whether it's these or whether it's that mug ball or something I don't know but it smells very nice though so I'll do a quick little overview of everything again so we can see it all together um, the first thing was the little book of plants like the information book there was the art print the mint green tea, the mugwort, the uh, candle magic kit, the gemstone, the pin, oh I'm not good at this, um, the little bag, the amulets, I'll hang that on my finger. <laughs> um, the pen. The incense sticks. And the scroll. So, all of these things this month in August, like nature box. Um, which casket to the UK is about £27. They do post all over the world, but it is more expensive, I think. Someone here on my YouTube has said before that they get it to America and it's like $45 or something. So obviously, I guess it depends if you think it's worth it to your country. But to the UK, I think £27 is a good price. Um, like I said, not my favourite box from them. I'm not really a naturey like plants and herbs kind of person. I prefer the more kind of creepy stuff. 
um, like last month's box that was about pentacles. That was like one of my favourite boxes that we've got. But it's still a really nice box to get and one of my favourite ones to get every month. So um, I hope you liked it anyway. I'll put the information for them down below in case you want to go check it out. And if you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.